this any better? Hopefully it's not. I really hope it's not just blowing your eardrums out right now. I don't think it is. But I don't know where the sound is coming from. If it's coming from this mic or one of the cameras. I have three cameras, or two cameras hooked up now. I'm very excited. It's like hopefully... Okay, no, it's not this mic. Nope. It's a, I'm just gonna... Um, hold on. Not that one. Okay, yep, it's coming from this one. So I have a little camera here. So hold on. Thank you! I actually tried really hard. <laughs> so I'm hoping this sounds okay and looks okay. I have had a day. So I'm sorry I was so late starting. I actually... This is stupid. I don't know how to fix this. Thank you! Yeah, I cleaned up the craft room. That's his bed right there. He literally is laying on the floor in front of it. Okay. Let's see if I can get this to actually come from the right device. I know this is probably not much better. This is the other camera. I don't know which one sounds better. And I don't know how to get it to not do the right thing. I am an idiot. Hold on. Hold on. Is this any better? Looks like it's still this cam. Oh, nope. Oh, we got headset sound. This one's good. Okay, I'm turning this one down a little bit because I can see it going into the red. Okay, how does this sound? Does this sound okay? <laughs> I'm sorry I'm doing streams and that. Where is it coming from? I guess I'm so sorry if this is really loud. Okay, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm trying my best here. I'm actually struggling. So why is it not letting me do this? Here, hold on. Gin's tail floating, yeah, he just sat down. I, I, I want this to come through here because I'm about to get up and stand up and I, I don't think it's going to reach because I have the air unit in the window um, and it drowns out everything if you're farther away. Can you hear me now? Oh my gosh. You can hear me now, can't you? And it's not coming from here. 
or from here. Would you like to know what it was? I had this muted. <laughs> I'm nodding as if you could see me. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Um, yeah, no, I did the same thing. It's great. <laughs> welcome to my incredibly janky setup. <laughs> I had the freaking thing muted up here. There's a button back here that I can press to mute it. And I had that muted. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm just embarrassing myself on stream. This is fantastic. But anyways, <laughs> I'm doing my best. But yeah, so no, I was starting a little bit late. Um, I can actually explain this now that I have a microphone because um, I was waiting on a package to come. And I'll show you because I'm very, very excited about it. Where did I put it? Here it is. I was waiting on a package to come um, for this project. Yeah, <laughs> these things happen. <laughs> I'm taking it out of the package now so I don't accidentally uh, show my address. But I'll put this back over here actually. There we go. This camera is not the best quality. I'm sorry. Um, it's elastic thread and I am super excited about this because this is what you use for shearing or shear shearing. I don't actually know how to pronounce it. I do my best, but it's very, very thin. Again, it's very, very thin, very stretchy. I turned off autofocus because it drives me nuts, but it basically is what you use to get very, very like the, the stretchy fabric that you see. Remember those like magic shirts that were super tiny and then you put them on and it's just like, that's what you do basically with this stuff right here and I am so excited to try it out because I was using like an elastic cord that was way too thick and I was like why is it not working and uh, that's why because I was not using the right stuff this is a lot thinner than what I was trying to use so I'm gonna wind this back up real fast I might like I'm trying my goal is to do this hoop skirt in like one to two streams I don't know how well that process is going to go because I've never uh, tried making a hoop skirt uh, under pressure and I don't always work well under pressure but I'm going to try my best anyways but yeah you know it do be like that <laughs> uh, I tied a knot in it whatever yeah so real quick um, if you are ever looking for <laughs> sewing supplies um, don't go to Joann's, go to Amazon. And I am normally all about not buying from Amazon, heck, not buying from Amazon because it's just, it's not great. It really isn't. It's <laughs> not a great company. They don't have the best practices and they're, uh, <sighs> y'all already know these issues, I'm sure. But this right here, so these two, this is about like, this is almost 600 yards of elastic thread for 11 yards of this stuff from Joann's it is five or six dollars for 11 yards this is 500 and something I got this for nine dollars and 99 cents love yourself <laughs> yeah but honestly okay actually because I am unhinged I really actually want to try and do some shearing right now I have some strawberries right here I had coffee so I'm a little all over the place but I'm so sorry. I do my best every day. Okay. So the other day, I would cut this out like a little test piece so that I could see how the shearing worked. And it just, it was a disaster because my bobbin thread was way, way, way too thick. Like the cord that I used was way too thick. But we're going to give this a go again. Oh, also, you want to know about more steels? So I got, <laughs> I'm unhinged. I got this entire giant thick boy roll of quarter inch elastic <laughs> for like, I think this one was $8, something like this. And this is 280 something yards of this stuff. This is what a lot of people used for masks. So it's like this thickness right here and it's nice and stretchy and it's really, really good for like crinolines or little petticoats, something like that. So I'm going to play with that. But I saw it and I was like, oh, I guess I'm just going to add to cart. That's what you do when you're sad. Just 
click add to cart, which I do, and it's a problem. But you know what else is a problem? Bam, more elastic. <laughs> I actually am not much of a coffee drinker, believe it or not, so whenever I drink it, it hits hard. This is like a vanilla blonde roast of some sort from Starbucks because I don't splurge on anything but coffee. It is a problem. Elastic does solve everything. But this is, I think, inch, inch width, and this is like, this was 33 yards, I think. This looks like a lot more than 33, but it was also very cheap. Both, all of these together came under, under $30, all three of these. And the reason I actually found the whole elastic problem was, <laughs> see in the food drive drink it? Yes. A vanilla blonde roast. I love roasting, so you know what? That's not wrong. Um, so I was actually on Joanne's like website trying to find some stuff for uh, for Violet, and <laughs> I came across uh, a sale on Elastic, and I was like, oh my gosh, this looks incredible. So I added like 50 yards to my cart, and I'm like, wow, I'm kind of extra, aren't I? And then I was like, you know, before I go and buy this, let me go see what other prices are like. I went on Amazon, and for five times as much Elastic, I could get it for the same price, and I'm like, well okay I guess <laughs> so I immediately removed from cart and then added cart on Amazon because I have no self-control speaking of self-control I found my my label printer so I <laughs> I'm sorry I'm very hyper I, I try and label all my little thingies and um, I was like I'm running out I've had this same one forever I'm running out of paper. I need more. And then I found this and it's like the clear tape and I am incredibly excited to try it. I cannot express to you how happy these little printer things make me. I'm going to laugh incredibly hard though if this does not actually fit and work in my little printer. <laughs> should have taken the label maker from my previous apartment. You absolutely should. I, I do not advocate for stealing, but I do advocate for... Um, uh, how can I put this? Rehoming. Rehoming. There we go. Long gone already. Oh. And I think this was the last purchase that's relevant to cosplay. So I went and I bought Violet's pins, but look how ginormous these things are. <laughs> I opened the package and I was like, what, in <laughs> what on God's green earth is this? So these are the pens that are supposed to be about an inch big. Um, it's supposed to be like <laughs> like that big. And I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> so um, I will be returning these, but it was nice. Uh, it was a nice attempt. We'll see. Um, I don't think it's going to work out for me, but that is okay. At least I have an idea of what to look for, which is nice. But before I get any... <laughs> I absolutely love it. So that was one of the big reasons I wanted the clear so that I could put all of the, the perler names on here. So I, I have them written kind of janky on this cut up index card and I was like, I deserve better. So all of these are going to be labeled with that clear little label maker so I can actually see the colors behind the labels. But yes, I love all of these. I'll see if I can, yeah. So these are all of my perlers for now. I still have some that are over off to the side, but I love looking at them, even though I don't do perlers as much as I used to. But anyways, before I actually get started, I'm going to be building a giant elliptical hoop skirt. That is the goal for the day. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know if I'll be able to accomplish it, but I'm going to give it a go. But before I do that, I really just want to try shirring a little bit of this. So I've watched a couple tutorials from ladies who look like they know what they're doing, which I am not one of. And they went with, it looks so easy, which always means it's not. But the way that they did this, you have to hand wind your bobbins, which is crazy to me, but I need to make sure I'm going to have enough. I'm probably not going to sure that, well, <laughs> sure, why not? Let's try it. We're going to try and sure this whole thing. Because I'm probably going to end up using a fabric similar to this for shirring. 
because you're supposed to use a very lightweight fabric. So we'll see. But here we go. And you have to make sure you're not stretching this at all, which is like, uh, what's the word? Tempting, I guess, could work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do you like to knit? I could never. You have all of my admiration. And yeah, I think it's because it affects it if you do stretch it. This wine's so much easier than that other stuff I was trying to use. I am a fool. Whoop, whoop. But yeah, no, we have most definitely been spoiled with the automatic winding machines. And why am I using black instead of white, you may ask? Because I know I'm going to need a lot of the white, and I cannot... I don't want to run... <laughs> I was going to say I don't want to run out, but I have so many. Oh, hello! Just <laughs> what is that? Depresso Espresso? <laughs> Welcome! Thank you for following. <laughs> it does kind of look like noodles, you're right. That's kind of funny. It keeps twisting, so I'm trying to do like this. And let me know if that was too loud. I don't know the f sound settings on this. It's been so long since I properly streamed. I'm kind of just winging it and hoping for the absolute best. And honestly, I don't know how well it's going. <laughs> Sounds good? OK. I actually did pretty good guesstimating the length of this. Go me. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to snip off this little extra up top here. Uh, nope, not you. No, no, no. I think we cut it today. I've done scars with this knife or shawl. You are incredible. <laughs> That's amazing. I am so proud of you. I literally could never do that. Well, you know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that. I. I'm sure at some point after many, many years of practice, I could. But I am so not patient. Right. I'm gonna thread just like that. If this doesn't work, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I certainly will not continue to fight it tonight. I will try and fight it off stream so I don't say inappropriate things, but we'll see. So allegedly you're supposed to just sew normally. Um, I'm gonna use a middle stitch instead of like the far left side, but nice kids. Absolutely. I love teaching. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. It is sewing is one of the very few things I was able to teach myself and teach myself well. So I'm very proud of the fact that I can answer some questions, but I am by no means a master. So if you see me say something that looks incredibly wrong, it probably is. Yeah, knitting is incredibly hard. It is a lot of counting and a lot of focus. All right, let's go. I don't know how loud the machine is. Hopefully it's not too bad. Yeah, see, it's not very stretchy at all. So I may, let's try upping the stitch length and see if that does anything. Uh, not really, it didn't do a whole lot. Let's see here. It may be that I need... I try and guess what's wrong by looking at my stitch... Looking at, like, the stitch pattern. So it looks like the 
the thread up here is holding it too taut, too tight. So I'm wondering if I loosen my tension, if that will help. <laughs> this is just going to be a whole bunch of guess and go. All right. What inspired me? So she's actually been on my list for a long time. Um, like ever since the anime came out, I was like, oh my gosh, this girl is absolutely beautiful. I have absolutely no way to um, to relate to her because she writes letters very well and I cannot write anything. My papers throughout high school were atrocious, but her outfit mostly is what kind of drew her to me. Ah, uh, yeah, see, it's not working as well. So let's try loosening some more. Why not? We're going to have fun with this. I'm just going to keep going. It may actually have to go tighter, to be honest. Let's see. But no, most of it was just her outfit. It looked really, really pretty. Um, the part of the outfit I'm very... Oh, that did not help at all. The part of the outfit I'm really looking forward to is actually... Um, let's get down to another line. Is the Pentax. So if you look on... Let's see. I'm going to make this giant for a second. Maybe. There we go. That does not really help. Um, <laughs> if you look right here on the front, you can see these little lines. Those are all supposed to be pin tucks. Um, and I really, really, really just kind of want the challenge of trying to make pin tucks. Because I, I've made pin tucks before, but it was like a three inch square for a costume that I never ended up wearing. And I was like, that's kind of sad. I want to have a little bit more of a challenge. So that is my thing. So I'm going to learn to sew. Complete custom Oh, yes. Yes. So not only uh, not only cosplay, but sewing in general is just a fantastic skill to learn. I've made a few little outfits and it's been wonderful. <laughs> I have loved it so far. 510% recommend doing it. Absolutely. All right. I boosted this tension again. Let's see. Um. Still isn't really what I'm looking for. Hmm. I don't want to mess with my bob intention. Honestly, I don't know if I'm able to because this doesn't have a bob in case. And I feel like it's something I'd have to dig into the machine to try and fix, but. Just draw on lines. I don't blame you. Go do your laundry. Go do your laundry. <laughs> um. Hmm. Let's see. What else can I do? So let's turn tension a little bit more. I don't see this helping, but it's worth a try. Oh, maybe. Oh no, the tension is just the thread that's making that pucker. <laughs> All right, well that's fine. So lower the tension back down. The length isn't helping much. So I mean, hmm. I don't know. <clears throat> I probably have to do some more troubleshooting with this and just kind of like get up in the machine Generally, whenever I want to ruffle, I'll do like this method where I turn my tension up really, really high, and then I turn my stitch length up high, and that'll cause it to, to gather like that. But the thing with shirring is that you want it to be flexible. You want it to be kind of elastic. It's like you get a little bit here, but it's just not enough. So I'll end up playing with it off stream and trying again. I don't, however, want to waste this very much. So yeah, you know what? It's fine. I will keep it as a reminder. But yeah. It's like you can technically go back and just pull. Oop. Well, nope, not that. You can kind of pull it and it'll sure like that. But you want the whole thing to be stretchy like that. But it's okay. It's alright. I'll play with that later. Um, for now, it is hoop skirt time. I'm very excited. I need another strawberry. Okay. 
So do you knit here on Twitch or do you just knit for fun, like by yourself? Because I, I haven't done sewing a lot on Twitch. I did a little bit uh, a couple years ago and I was just so nervous I ended up quitting. But I'm kind of excited to give it another go. Try it again, see if, I, if I've changed any. So far the answer is no, I'm still very nervous, but that is A-OK. -okay. All right, sewing machine to the side, more coffee. Oh, okay. He's, yeah, no, not on the bed. I don't know if you saw him earlier. I have a dog. He is kind of like lying right around there, not on his bed right there. So that's fun. But all right. Whoop. Okay, that looks good. So the way that I generally do this kind of stuff is I just wing it and hope for the best and most of the time it kind of end up ends up working so we'll see this is I always try and do a good uh, undergarment base because it kind of sets the tone for the whole cosplay and I was actually not gonna do any kind of undergarment situation I wasn't gonna do like a corset I was gonna do maybe a little petticoat just because Violet's dress is very uh, tame. It doesn't have a lot of floof to it, but then I was like, why not go the extra mile and be a little bit too extra? So here I am. And I'm making an elliptical hoop skirt because I have to be doubly extra and can't just do a regular hoop skirt. It do be like that sometimes. Oops. Okay. Hi again. Oops. Oh, thank you so much for following. I appreciate it. Let's see, sorry, Mr. One. Crafting live. Just like someone. Oh my gosh! No, same. That is absolutely exactly how I am too. I'm afraid of looking dumb and I'm like, oh, someone's going to come in and laugh at me and then I'm going to have to completely delete my account from Twitch. Completely. Um, gaming. Range setup. Oh, what kind of gaming do you do? I like to pretend that I'm a gamer. I am absolutely not, though. Not in any aspect at all. <laughs> Puppy. Oh, what kind of dogs do you have? They're the best. Come here, boy. Say hi. He's a big boy. He is a standard poodle and I love him, but he is way too derpy to have the floors that we have. We have like the, the linoleum floors and earlier he was trying to get to his food. He was standing still and all of a sudden he was just like on the floor. What are you doing boy? It's kind of great. Let's see. Yeah, so my plan, the, the reason why I got that elastic thread was I wanted to do a little dress type thing that would hold the hoop skirt in place so I wanted like just a plain top but I was gonna do some shearing right here in the front so that I didn't have to fit it too much and it would be able to fit well underneath the dress but if that shearing doesn't end up working I'll probably just find or probably do like a zipper probably yeah zippers are a blessing from God I love zippers I don't care what anyone says Okay, so we're going to set this here for now. This is going to be the <coughs> bottom most layer. So if you've ever seen a hoop skirt, generally you have a panel like this at the bottom of it. Um, this was so, I didn't learn this until recently, this was so you didn't accidentally step. Like, So if you had a, a hoop here and then a line and then a hoop here, it's like so you didn't step through your hoop skirt. This was here kind of just like as a barrier so you didn't go. It's great. Cozy Gamer all the way. Animal Crossing Star, do anything wholesome and pure. Oh, that's so great. Me too. <laughs> My version is Minecraft, though, because it's it's not as wholesome and pure and sweet as something like Terraria or Stardew, but it's a lot of fun. I can have a house, 
which is nice. And yeah, it is actually a custom form. I sewed this years ago, so I've gained weight since then, so it's not exactly <laughs> how it needs to be, but I'm going to make a new one hopefully soon. I'm trying to trying to get a couple videos out before I make another one, but I definitely want to film like the making of the custom form because this was so much fun to make. I actually made it during quarantine and I joked that this was my, my roommate and my live-in buddy because I didn't have anyone with me. I lived alone then. I don't live alone now, but it was my, my bestie. We hung out. I had her on the couch occasionally whenever I would watch TV. It was sad. Fantastic, but sad. I'd love to see it. Okay. I will try and do that then. Yes, absolutely. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I'm trying to record most of this. I don't know if I can record it, but you know what? Let's just... Hopefully that's not going to mess anything up. If it drops the quality too much, please let me know. I don't know if it changes anything. I've never streamed while recording. I use OBS to record my videos, or Streamlabs to record my, record my videos, but I've never done it while streaming so if it affects the stream too much please let me know I will shut it off because it's not that big a deal to me but yeah again you're on my cord that's my cord go buddy go 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 okay yep don't have VOD on I do but I don't know what that is exactly <laughs> like the, the automatically saves it I don't know how to down, it's probably very easy. I haven't looked into it too much. I just know I have to highlight these videos to qualify to compete so that they can see me actually working on this so they don't, so they know I don't, didn't buy something instead. I'm putting this over that. Um, <sighs> we'll see though. I don't know if it records at a different uh, quality than it um, saves, I guess, but either way, if it works like this, I'll just let it work like this, which is fine by me. But, okay. Um, what I'm probably going to do, actually, I don't know where... Where is my corset? JK, I don't know where my corset is. Um, Alright, that's fine. I just kind of wanted a spare string. I wanted a starting point so I knew where to measure from, but I know where the waistline is on this, so. And I'm not planning to make this super tight. I am tired of cosplays where I am so, uh, what's the word? dead set on looking super skinny because it's just stressful to wear a corset the whole time so these are just going to be true to size cosplays from now on <laughs> I'm done with that okay I'm going to try and get this line even and then I'm going to pin it into place and leave it so I don't have to worry about it Yeah, so the reason I know where... <laughs> oh, hello. Ugh, 2000. Thank you so much for following. I feel that name. I feel that. It's just, ugh, 2022. Or really just the 20s in general. I completely forgot what I was saying. But should be comfortable. Yes, I, I used to be so focused on that. And I kind of hate that I was. But it's too late now. But oh, oh, the reason that I know where... Um, <laughs> where the waistline is. Whenever I sewed this, I cut notches where the waistline was. Because um, I was like, oh no, this won't show. And it accidentally ended up tearing because I used a stretchy fabric, which is why this is kind of misshapen. So I have all these lovely little notch, <laughs> notch cuts all along this waistline here. So I know where the waistline is. But that's all right. It's like once I do this, it is in place, it's not moving, and I can just go, which will be great. Okay. I'm 
glad I have all these little pins. I would never use these for sewing. It's the ones that are that have like a, a flat head on the top of them. I think uh, I think they're used in like patterning, but I do not use them for sewing. I use like the the round ball end type. a couple more and then I can get to the fun stuff. Sorry, this is kind of boring. Let's see. Beautiful. All right. Yeah, I can't reach chat far away. I'm sorry. Gen is laying right here in front of the computer, so favorite cosplay you've done to date? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I think it kind of depends on what aspect. So if you mean like craftsmanship wise, like what I've had the most fun making. God, um, that's a tough one. I'd probably actually say Beatrice. So I made a Beatrice from, um, I'm not going to try and pronounce it because I will butcher it, but Umineko. Um, it's the... I don't even know how to describe it. I have it in this closet here. Um, she does not fit at all anymore, but it was a lot of... Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's see if I can find a picture. The fingernail anime? No! Like, technically yes, but also no. Like same, but also not. Let me see if I can do this. No, okay. <laughs> Why that picture? Um, This one. So I've made this before in the past. Um, oh, actually, hold on, hold on. Yeah, it is ominously cute. <laughs> so that actually um, was the second costume I entered I think and my reward because I, I actually I, I won best novice for it I'm still proud of it to this day was a 3d print of my costume so I like to keep it with me the color is a little bit faded now and it's kind of dusty because it's been like 500 years but they made a 3d print of the costume and I think it is absolutely magical so yeah oh Beth have you never seen this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they made this little 3D print of it. Oh, it's so dusty. I'm very sad. I need to clean it up. But it is my favorite trophy to date. It's hollow on the inside, but very, very, very cool. It even has like all the ridges 3D printed on there. <laughs> Actually, I think it was a resin print. I don't think it was a 3D print. I don't know the difference. 3D printing is a league of its own that I do not understand in the least. But... All right, there we go. But yeah, this was my Beatrice. This is the probably uh, this is probably my favorite that I've made technically wise because the skirt was a lot of fun. Um, all of these lines were a ton of fun to draw. These were all hand painted on. Um, yeah, just overall, I think this is probably my favorite. This poor baby is so dusty. I'm gonna put that down now because I'm very sad. But yeah, um, as for like favorite one that I had the most fun in. That would actually probably be um, a little bunny maid group that I did so long ago. I don't even remember. Um, it was a hot minute, but we had a whole group of all different colors. 
I think if you search, let me see. Okay, no. I was going to say you might be able to find it, but... Um, no, okay, I don't see it anywhere. We did like a huge group of a whole bunch of people, um, all of us dressed up as bunny maids, and it was just a lot of fun hanging out with a bunch of my friends, because it was all like friend groups and stuff like that. That was probably my favorite to hang out with in. So, you got the technical, then you got the fun, but yeah. Sorry for the very long-winded answer. I'm still very much caffeinated. <laughs> okay. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this. I have made a hoop skirt before. The hoop skirt I made was actually for Beatrice, the, the red dress. But that was so long ago. I don't entirely remember how to do this. I'm kind of going off of images and patterns that I've seen online and kind of hoping it's going to work which is not the smartest method but it's how I live my life so I was going through my scrap pile and realized I had made all of this casing so it's like one inch one and a half inch diameter just casing that I had sewn together years ago for whatever reason so I'm going to try and use this for the the hoop skirt because it I mean it's white it matches this right here. So that'll work. That was a great answer. Okay, good. <laughs> Long-winded, I know, I know. But that's okay. Um Since this is sturdy enough, I might actually use this for the belt as well, which might make things a lot easier. So yeah, you know what, let's do that. Um. All right. I've cut things too short before and it's always a problem that I run into because I'm like, oh, I don't want to waste material, but the oh, pie again. But I'm trying not to do that <laughs> with this one. So cut a little bit extra if I have to make more casing it takes like two minutes Okay, so with this elliptical hoop skirt it has from what I could tell on the website it has like a little round piece in the back that you attach all of these little things onto like the casing I don't know what you call them I'm not good with technical terms unfortunately but This is going to go in the front because it all attaches in the front. So, I'm going to pull this kind of tight just for fun because I do kind of want to mimic corset where it holds it in place. So, I, I found that nowadays, whenever I'm wearing a corset, it's for good reason. Um, Corsets are very, very good at keeping shapes, so I found it's really good for um, for things like hoop skirts. It's really good for skirts that tend to like slide up and down. It's like whenever you're wearing a corset, you have a defined waist, and it's able to like kind of sit snug in there. So that's why I kind of like it nowadays. But this just wants to be a little bit stubborn. And yes, I know I'm covering up that nice little waistline I just pinned, but that is all right. Let's see. And that is pretty much centered on that little waistline. So Violet doesn't have like a full gown, so I can't really cheat that way. I'm going to have to make this a little bit shorter. So this mannequin is a little bit taller than I am. I have it set to be about, um, 
like an inch and two or inch and two inch or two taller than I am so I can pretend I'm wearing heels with it or I can make it look like I'm wearing heels with it so let's see And I'm going to attach everything around here. So like a half inch down from, or a half inch up from the bottom of it. So let's just do like this. Actually, I want to use this one for measuring. So this one can stay permanent. I have, t <laughs> I have a couple little tape measures. This one is faded and kind of sad. This is my very first tape measure that I got a decade ago. So I'm going to pin this in place and kind of get a feel for how long this is going to be in the front. And this is all, like you're seeing the entire process because I have not done any measurements or anything. Just going for it. One load down. Good job. I'm proud of you. You're doing your best. <laughs> so... Honestly, I'd say probably, probably about there. What is that at? About 35 inches. And whenever it comes out, it's going to make it a little bit shorter. So let's go. Hello again. Let's go 37. Where's my index cards? I love index, woo, index cards, by the way. <laughs> Call me Grace. index cards and little notepads. Uh, pen. So waist to I guess bottom of hoop skirt. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if y'all saw that. He started taking or chasing his tail. <laughs> what are you doing? Come here. Can you say hi? Come over here. Gold star for doing laundry. Yes, absolutely. I'm going to send you a whole bunch of gold stars because everyone needs that kind of motivation in their lives. 100%. Oh, yeah. He is, he is adorable, but he's a complete doofus. I'm going to see if I can reach it from over here. I have all of my hoops on the opposite side of the room. Hi again. So, again, this is not for you. So, I'm actually using gardening hose for my hoops. Partially because <laughs> I'm cheap. Partially because I like using weird... Um, materials, I guess you could say. So I enjoy using weird things. Hence this. I'm still missing one. Oh, there it is. So I, I bought a uh, garden connecting tools. <laughs> what if it was for me? He thinks everything is for him. You say that as a joke, but he's very much like, why is this not for me? So this is what I'm using. I don't. It's not going to focus on it, I don't think. But it is basically a connection tool for actual garden hose. This is what it looked like before, and I cut off the little, I cut off the little wing pieces, so it's not really adjustable. It doesn't, because what the, what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to tighten down, and it basically adds um, thread to the, the tube. But I don't need that much security with this. I actually. I want to be able to take it apart because that's how I've made all of my hoop skirts so far. Or any hoop skirt that I've made, I want it to be able to come apart. So, it's going to be like this. 
it really is. I worked at Home Depot for a while and it was a problem because I'm like, well, what if I use this? What if I use this? Oh, I could use this. So it, <laughs> it was very interesting. Yeah, so the problem is this is going to be a little too tall. There we go. So if I take this down to about 37 inches, which is about right there, I think that'll be good. I think that'll be good. So let's try it. Laundry time. Go do laundry time. Always do laundry time. Yeah, I already went ahead and did this. This is already sewn together and all that stuff. So this I <laughs> this is uh speaking of interesting um materials, this is actually a bed skirt that I cannibalized so <laughs> I try my best every day but I really love this little patterning or this little here hold on this little pattern on it it's very cute I love lace it is beautiful so I'm very excited What I'm trying to decide is if I want to sew casing to this and leave this flat or if I want to put a seam in right here and make the casing a part of this. Because honestly, I kind of think I just want to sew casing to it. Again, whoop, 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 cord. <sighs> Please go lay down. Go lay down. Go. Thank you. Repurposing. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> it's so much fun. And you find really cool things that you wouldn't have found before. So actually, hold on one second. So I've kind of put her aside for the moment, but this was the project that I was working on before I started uh, before I started Violet. This is Maria from um, My Life as a Villainess. I don't have the top, so it's a little weird. I was just trying to keep everything together, but I made a little faux hoop skirt for her and I used the exact same fabric because <laughs> there was so much of it. But I will get back to her eventually. I just, right now... I I found out about this contest um like two weeks ago now, less than two weeks ago. And I was like, oh, I um I should get started, and I have not touched her since. So I'm rambling and I am procrastinating, calling myself out. All right, so we're gonna cut. We don't need 37 inches of this because this is going to be the bottom of it. So we really only need hmm. Come on. We're probably going to go with just 32 because that'll be about right here. Well, let's just go with 33. So I don't want to attach the casing all the way up here because the last thing that I want is a whole bunch of little pucks like here and then here and then this middle piece just hanging down. It's the last thing I want. I 
am in a very lucky position where I don't have to worry about much else at the moment. So this is where my uh, focus lies. Oh yeah, I am definitely going to run out of this casing. But that's okay. I'll probably sit here and sew some more in a little bit. So... about here. Most of the cosplay that I do is very much wing it and hope for the best and fix any mistakes later, which tends to be kind of wasteful, but it <laughs> I know y'all couldn't see that, but he was on his back in the background. <laughs> Just fully spreading. It's a very nice boy just like a man. Anyways. Alright. Let's see. I'm going to give myself a half inch seam at the top. Just so, or you know what, let's go do 5 eighths for fun. Just for funsies. So I'm going to come up here and mark 5 eighths. Now, the pattern that I'm looking at has two on either side. So there's not a single one in the front, there's two here. And that looks like one, two, three, four five, six, seven, all the way around. So that's kind of what I'm going to copy at this point. Um, yeah. So it starts right about here. Put the middle. And I do mutter a lot. I'm sorry, it's just how I think. Again, buddy. I definitely should have sewn this or ironed this first. I'll get my iron started. This is very much off. It's also been in storage for a very long time, so it's going to be kind of wonky. And because I sewed this so long ago, this is not on the correct grain. <laughs> this is kind of a mess. But it's okay. I can fix this. Ravgon, hi, welcome, how are you doing? I'm sorry, I don't look at chat nearly as often as I should. Talk a lot when I'm thinking to start a new job next week, so hopefully I have my own cube. Oh, well, good luck with the new job. That's exciting. New jobs are always fun. Well, most of the time. You need your self-reserve sanity. You are absolutely correct. <laughs> it's like either you mumble to something or someone or yourself. You have to mumble, otherwise the thoughts do knock it out. That's why I love having Gen around, because I can just talk to him, and he just looks at me like, oh, you're saying I can have food now? Like, no. Let's move this. Let's see. Hopefully, I have a, a window unit here, so hopefully that's not blueing directly into this microphone. Feed me, human. Yes, that is absolutely him. <laughs> and it's funny because his food time is 7. I'm in the eastern time zone. His food time is 7. It's been sitting over here for an hour and a half now. And he just would rather chew on his chew toy. So, 
shows how much he cares. But then he absolutely just like cries. He's like, why don't you ever feed me? Why don't you love me? Mother, please, I'm starving. Meanwhile, he has an entire full bowl of food. He's gotten incredibly picky because there was a time where he was really struggling to eat. Like, he just didn't want to eat at all. So I was like, what can I do to convince this dog to eat? He needs to eat. I am a bad mother. My child needs food. And I was like, oh, what if I just put a little bit of bacon fat in there and mix it around? I was like, it's not healthy, but he hasn't eaten in like two days. And I need him to eat something before I go to the vet. And the second I pulled out that bacon fat, he was on it. He was absolutely on that food, devoured it immediately. And I <laughs> was like, oh, okay, so you're just being a brat. And ever since then, he just refuses to eat like he's supposed to. I'm like, oh, that's lovely. Can't hear the unit, you're good. Thank you. <laughs> so I have a snowball mic that is actually really, really good. And I'll probably use it whenever I sit down to hand sew. But for now, I'm gonna stick with this just cause I am moving around so much. Um, but it picks up this unit so, so strongly. I was like, all right, I won't be doing that. Just ironing these flat real fast. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I, I I was like, oh shoot, did she tell me what brands are she? I'm sorry, I don't know your pronouns. Uh, did they tell me what dogs they have? And I just didn't notice. Oh no, but I couldn't see it, <laughs> and now I'm embarrassed. So I'm gonna stop talking. But yes, dogs are absolutely precious. I love them all. Sorry if you can hear that. He actually has found the squeaker, apparently, so that's great. Oh, oh, I can make this a little bit more fun. There it is. Right in front of me. So, whoop. hello. Oh, Ravicon, thank you so much for following. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a bit of a mess, but I like to have a good time. I'm having fun. That sounded a little bit wrong, but you know, that's okay. Seamstress, seamstress, here for a good time. Ooh, ooh. Okay. So, let's bring you to the middle here so I can make sure I'm pinning these links correctly. Imagine if a seamstress just had a call line like that. They're like, hey, I'm here for a good time. And the seamstress is just like, yes, let me tell you about stitching. Have you ever heard of tatting before? And they're just like, I did not sign up for this at all. I'm going to get banned. Like the first few streams I have, I'm already going to get banned. That's fine. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> okay. I'm using you guys as a reference. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that should be fun. Let's see, we like messes. You good? Okay, thank you. Again, sorry. I don't pay as much attention to chat as I should. One day. I'm I'm like looking back and forth between the reference and what I have and I'm realizing I'm forgetting some very important things like the little I don't know what you call it I wish I was more into historical stuff it looks like it's a lot of fun but I don't know how to do that I tried for a little bit a few years ago whenever I was making Beatrice and it was too much it was way 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 too much this was 
I made Beatrice like before all these historical re uh, resources were out. <laughs> I was just kind of like winging it, which is just my motto, just winging it, TM. Okay. I'm th thinking this will be a good height. I'm thinking it will, hoping it will. So I should have thought this through a little bit better. Before I continue with this, I'm going to sew a little butt thingy in the back. I'll see if I can find a picture to share. All right. Sorry, no more doggy cam. <laughs> I know he's in the back here. <laughs> I should definitely get a dog cam. But not yet. Alright. Let's switch this back around. Alright. So whoops. trying to get a picture so I, so I can show you guys what I'm basing mine off of. Mm. Oh, I don't even know where I saved that. Good job. That's under corrections. Alright, this is what I'm basing it off of, um, this kind of shape here. Um, this little thing up here, <coughs> this little, I don't know if y'all can even see it. <laughs> I'm mousing over, I don't think you guys can actually see it, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, if you look at the waistband, that little thing at the butt of it, where all the other tapes are attached to, that's what I need to make real fast. He is slipping and sliding in the background. Thank you again. Okay. So we're going to make that real fast. Butt plate, that is its official name now, and I am okay with that. Why does my camera look so sad? There we go. I think it's back to what it was before, but in any case. Um, let's see, what can I make this out of? So this is my giant bag of fabric that I just got from Joann's, of course. It's like a 108 inch width muslin and I got like four yards of it. Yeah, no, me either. <laughs> but it is a-okay. Yeah, this is very, very, very wide. Okay, we're just gonna start, let's see. Oh my word. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I need to back this up a little. Okay. I believe in you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you with all of my heart. <laughs> so that's the salvage. Okay, 
Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let me actually measure this real fast. I'll switch this back to here. Okay. Tape measure, tape measure. So I'm not sure how wide this needs to be, but everything else is attached to it, so it needs to be good. Um. Oh, hello hoop. I'm thinking probably start about, that looks like it's way too big. Probably here. I'll probably just do like from here to here. So that's gonna be about eight inches. And then probably about five inches down. I approximate way too much. And could I buy the pattern for this and save myself a lot of trouble? Yes, absolutely. But I want to be able to say that I patterned this. That is my sole reason <laughs> for not just making my life easier. Now, because this is going to be holding all of the weight of those <laughs> tapes, I'm going to like quadruple it up. And we're going to do this. We're going to add an inch. What's that inch and a half for fun? It's about nine and a half by six and a half. 